The sheep are all hearing me calling for the horses. <laughs> We're having a rain belt come in. And I'm getting the horses in. And I'm calling them. Come on, girls! Come on! The other way to call them is to make them think that the gate is opening. There we go. Look at that. Atta girls! Where's Marco Polo? Where's Marco Polo? Go get Marco Polo! Where's Marco Polo? Hey, Miss Daisy Rose! Where's Marco Polo? I better go find out where my Marco Polo is. The horses are leading me back down the field. They don't want to leave Marco Polo, so I better go hey, find Ms. him. Hey, Miss Daisy Rose. How are you doing, you pretty girl? You pretty little fat pony. <laughs> Everybody else is over there so where's marco polo where's my handsome boy where's my handsome boy ah my handsome boy has escaped he's escaped to the other side of the fence My handsome boy is a brainy fella. Miss Daisy Road ha Rose hasn't escaped, but Brainy Mac Marco Polo has. How boring. Hey, Marco, come on. Okay, I'll have to open this up. The horses will go down, gallop round, and hopefully bring Marco Polo up. Oh, bugger. It's a little bit more complicated than that because this was used. Okay, you guys. I see why you didn't want to come. Marco Polo is stuck on the other side. Come here, Marco. Come on. Can you come up here and be intelligent? If you came up here, I could lift part of the fence and you could come through it underneath. Are you coming? Yeah, you brainy old man. Are you coming? Are you gonna come up here? Come on, come on. Okay, see I haven't turned the electric fence off. Let's see if he'll come up here and come under the fence. Come on, Marco. Come here. Come on. Come on. He says, no, I'm not doing that. Who'd you take me for? You're not going to come through here. If I lift two of them up, will you come through? Hmm? Come on, come on, Marco, come on. Okay, I've got to come through. Okay, uh, crawl under the fence. Really, Marco, you're making it very difficult for me. Yes, sweetie pie, I don't have anything, but I want to bring you inside because there's a storm coming, okay? There's a storm coming, so I want you to come in. Okay, I'm going to have to take my jacket off. Don't get spooked, please. Oh, and there, they're getting spooked. Because I'm taking my jacket off with one hand. Now. Hey, Marco. Good boy. Yeah, he's scared of my jacket. 
jacket flapping around. You good boy. Yes, you good boy. You good boy. Okay, there. I held the phone with my tooth. So, okay, Marco, come on. Let's go here. Now, don't know how this is gonna work. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, they know, down. They know exactly what's going on. And, uh, they want to go inside too. Stopping at the manure pile. Brindle, leave it. Brindle, Brindle, come back here. Marco, you're the brainy fella. Good boy, take it easy. They're all hyped up because of the wind, aren't they? And they know the storm is coming. Do you want to come? Come on. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Come on. Oh, you beautiful girl. I can't wait till I can ride you again. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come in a minute. If I walk through here. Come on, girls. Come on. No, Marco Polo, come this way, please. Come on, Marco. Good boy. Here we go. Come on, girls. Here they come. Come on, girls. Whoops. I bumped the gate. Now, they see the gate open. Little Miss Daisy Rose. Dun 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 And old man. Come on, old man. There we go. This is just the horses, not you guys. Oh, they, no, Marco Polo was on the other side of the electric fence. So the girls wouldn't abandon him. These guys are in. The alpaca and ebony. And excuse me, Miss Daisy Rose, that's not yours. Come on. Nope, that's not yours either. That's Marco Polo's. You go get yours. There you go. Miss Daisy Rose, you are plenty fat enough. You do not need any feed. Whereas he needs everything he can get as an old fella. You're gonna just try, you try from Grasshopper, but not from Marco Polo. 
Munchy, munchy, munch. I know he's covered in grasshopper ate too much of Marco Polo's and spat <laughs> half of it out over his backside. He's really beginning to look old. Well, he's in his 20s, isn't he? Or he's, he's well into his 20s. Yeah. I mean, he could easily be uh, 25. So he's not a young boy. Rescue pony. Oh, and there's Miss Daisy Road. All that galloping around uh, has made her thirsty. She's having a good drink. I've got to get the farrier to start doing her feet again. We got to a stage and then it had to be left for her to restructurize herself. And so we can now redo, get to going on our feet. And even though Marco Polo is eating that way, he had a dental visit, oh, not very long ago, like a couple of months ago. So he's just an old fella. We're filming each other. Oh, we're filming, filming each other <laughs> filming. <laughs> How nerdy is that? Oh, complete and utter nerddom. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. We there don't need go. to talk to each other. We can just look at the screen. And oh, yeah, and, and not you know, do anything yeah. but look at the screen. Why not? Yeah, I know.